Hello students, welcome to our computer class. I hope you all are fine and enjoying the quarantine at your home. Students, here we are starting the new chapter, word processor and mail merge. But before starting this chapter, I want you to know whether you completed the practical portion and the theory portion of the, the chapters which are done already. Chapter 1, 2 and 3. In chapter number 3, in previous video, just previous video, in the fifth video, I told you that you have to done the practical portion must. Students, practical is not so much complicated. What you have learned, you have to do that much only. So students, if you have any problem, you can easily ask me in the school app. Okay? And also, be serious for completing the notes because it is for learning the answers. Okay? So, complete the uh, theory portion in the copy also and I'll check when the schools will open. Okay, students? So, I told you about the this word processor and mail merge. What we are doing here in this chapter, we are going to learn how mail merge is doing in the word processor and what is their advantages, what are their components and uh, Use of mail merge to create multiple personalized documents from a single one and applying the concept of mail merge to multiple addresses. It is very simple things, very easy things. But we are before starting this, I told you that in this video, you have to watch the video properly in the full for full concentration. Then only you got the concept of this chapter. Okay, dear students. So let's begin with introduction. Chapter number 4 Word Processor and Mail Merge So here we start with introduction. Suppose students, you want to give a party to your friends and relatives. What you have to do? First you have to invite them. How you will invite them? Yes, you have to type the letter, invitation letters. Or you can call it. But the one way is that if you want to invite them by invitation letter. Then now what you do? Now you have to type all the addresses of your friends and relatives. But by typing all the names and addresses and then making the documents and saving them is a very tedious job. So... This work can be done very easily in the Microsoft Word by using the mail merge feature. Yes, students, it is a very easy job to do it with the help of mail merge feature. You can send the same letter to number of people by this mail merge feature. Right? So, let's introduce this new mail merge feature by understanding first the component of this mail merge feature how we can do it for this we have to understood first the components of mail merge what is this actually what is the mail merge here two components are there first is main documents and data source what is this main document Main document is the document that contain letter or text which, you, which is to be sent. It's called a main document. And what is the data source? Yes, the file where all the addresses of recipients are stored. It's called the data source. Alright? And the process of combining this main document with the data source is called merging which we have to understood now and the final document is called merge document all right if these documents are combining then we say that it is merge document here in general the mail merge process involves the three steps what is this first we have to create main document this is the main source and then creating the data source 
and after creating this we have to merging main document and data source all right this thing is done very easily by understanding this mail merge process but before this we have to understand the advantages of this mail merge why we are doing this what are the advantages of this mail merge yes students it saves our time and efforts of course by typing the same letter by sending the same letter to number of people it can save our time and efforts and once the merge has set has been set up thousands of letters can be produced very quickly and when we you make any changes in single letter it will be applied in every letters and letters can be sent to people who meet specific criteria okay now take a look on steps to be followed during mail merge what are the steps to follow during mail merge here are 13 steps which we have to follow step number 1 is click start ma mailing tab and then click start mail merge from the start mail mail merge and choose a letter from the choice available then step number 3 type that letter you want to send this type okay then click the select recipient and choose type new list from the choice available then the new address list dialog box appears like this okay then fill the various field with appropriate information you can leave a field blank as well then create another entry click the new entry button okay then you can arrange the records according to your choice also by clicking the appropriate column heading for example click first name fill to arrange according to the names okay then after completing the form click okay button and the save address list dialog box appears okay give a suitable name to the list because it is easy to search the list and click this save button then place a cursor in the main document where you want the fields to be inserted okay then click that insert merge field from the right and insert field group and choose the required field again the place again place the cursor to another place for the next field and insert it in the same manner then click finish and merge from the finish group to complete the mail merge process okay it is very easy job for this choose edit in individual documents option and the merge to new document dialog box appears okay and like this if all the entries and all the merging process were done by according you you can click this select all options and click okay button all right if you can also click highlight merge field from the right and insert field group to easily identify which part of the document will be replaced by the information from the recipient list all right so it is very simple easy way to merge the documents i hope you understood this mail merging feature and uh, understood what are the advantages of this mail merge and what are their components yes so dear students it's time to say bye bye we'll meet 
in the next continuation video of this chapter in the next week till then see you and take care